Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Live show where we are living live. What's coming next week? And does it affect you? Affect you? Answer on the way. Healthy food is always rejected, but is it really for the best? Close as ever, but yep, day temperatures are changing. There were some basketball games played yesterday. Find out the scores in sports after the break. All this one's for coming after the break. Why are you two out of dress code? What do you think you're doing? Welcome back and on to the news. If you participated in the cookie dough fundraiser, you will need to pick up your items on on Tuesday after school. If you are absent that day, you will still need to make up arrangements to pick up your cookie dough to make up your to pick up your cookie dough. All items must be picked up by 3:15 on Tuesday, March thir March 13th. If if you sold six or more items, you are invited to attend a prize party during six period on Wednesday, March 14th. You will receive a wristband from homeroom. Your your homeroom teacher on Wednesday, March 14th. If you are eligible eligible to attend the prize party, if you have any questions, please please see Miss Lopez in room 305. Thanks for supporting our school. The East Center Computer Lab is open during lunch on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday for students to go on Study Island. You must enter through room 305. No food in the computer lab, please. Arteza, 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 Cerritos, and Gar High Schools will be here on Thursday to register for you ninth, for for your ninth grade. All students must register with their home school. If you are chosen for a school of choice in the lottery, you must take your letter to your home school and check out all the schools. You will be given a registration card to take to your new high school. Students planning to attend schools out of the district must still register with their home school, high school. Students who are on permit from outside ABC school district they, that they wish to attend. However, you will not be able to register at this time. See Ms. Hudson for any questions. Celestino's homeroom bought the most books and will have breakfast with Ms. Wright. With Mr. Wright, Megan Moore won a pizza party for herself and two friends, and see Ms. Wright for details. The Science Club events are the Great Estimators with Ms. Kyra, Mousetrap Cars with Ms. Thomas, Bottle Ro Ms. Tomas, Bottle Rockets with Ms. Tomas, and Hot Air Balloons with Ms. Van. International Society will be serving snacks at home games after school. Again, International Society will be serving snacks at home, game, at home games after school. Time now to cross the globe and taze around the world in Victoria. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Today we go to the LAUSD to hear about how healthy food was rejected. Schools in the LAUSD rejected healthier food choices that were offered to them like vegetarian curries, tamales, pad thai noodles, and salads, which were promptly thrown away. The students instead brought junk food from home to eat. The school had rejected this change because a year ago, 
The famous TV chef Jamie Oliver went to their school to do a documentary on school lunches to try and change eating policies. He originally had a permit to film, but his permit was pulled because he was trying to change the way people eat. Now, LAUSD is planning other changes, such as healthy burgers and pizza, due to the, com co due to the complaints from parents that their children were not getting enough food for lunch. That are up to the news around the world. Time now to go back to Tetzla for the upcoming events. Thank you, Victoria. Looking at the Tetzla calendar, today is Children Pride Day, and the Science Club events are the Great Estimators with Mrs. Kyra, Mouse Trap Cars with Mrs. Tomas, Bottle Rockets with Mrs. Tomas, and Hot Air Balloons with Miss Van. Tomorrow, the high schools come for registration, and Friday is Friday is a minimum day in college day. And that wraps up the ongoing events. Time now for Life Five Forecast. Well, today's today's forecast. Oh, excuse me. Oh, um, I wanna. Uh, all right. Um, I'm just standing like this for a little bit while. I'm a little bit cold. Uh, I'm shaking right here. Um, uh, over here in Los Angeles, it's gonna be 62 degrees. <laughs> uh, over here in over here, <laughs> over here in Norfolk, it's gonna be uh, 65 degrees. 64 in Washington. 61 in New York. 59 in Boston. New Orleans, it's gonna be. 77 degrees and in Miami it's going to be raining with 78. I don't know how that happens. Like it's warm but it's raining. Let's go to the five-day forecast. Ah, trip. Today is going to be 64 degrees. Tomorrow is 74. Friday is 80. Saturday is 75 and Sunday is going to cool down to 65. I'd like to give a shout out to Amanda and Audrey Live. We're going to make the best balloon car there is. All right, let's go to Katrina with the wet pole. Well, thank you, Jess. For this week's we have Kristen with us. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Well, um, that's good. Well, could you please read this week's Wubble for us? What's your favorite part of the Live in 5 show? Well, here's what you told us, Trojans. My favorite part of the Live in 5 show is movie review because the, mov because the movies they show, they show I'm eager to see. And also, my favorite part of the Live in 5 show is around the world because I like to know what is going on out there. Well, we want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online, live5show.com to vote. Send your comments to wellpoll, live5show.com. It's good. We'll be on the air. So, Kristen, what's your favorite part of the Line 5 show? I think I like the funny videos sometimes. Or the segments, because mm -hmm. some of the videos are funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'd like to do a shout out to the basketball team. Woo, hope we win today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, um, thanks for coming to our show today. You're welcome. It's time now to go to a live fire search update. Thank you, Katrina. Well, if you didn't watch yesterday's Laker game, it saved you the pain because they sadly got defeated by the Pistons, 88-85. And we did have a basketball game yesterday, and we sadly lost that game. But we did win yesterday's soccer ball. No, wait, ba soccer game. And it's a complete opposite with the Celtics because they got beat by the Rockets. Because they take the gold, beating the Rockets 97-92. Well, the same goes for the Nets, like the Lakers, because their opposing team, Miami Heat, beat them with a very embarrassing score of 108-78. And finally, the Mavericks defeat the Knicks 95-85. And that's all for today's sports. A shout-out to Rosalinda and David Garcia. That, okay, yeah, back to you, Adam. Thank you, Bea. Time now to see on with today's Daily 411. How long has Tetzla been a magnet school? A half year? One year? One and a half years? Or two years? Take five. One year. <laughs> Pretty long time. But yeah, it's a year. I and the answer a is a half year. What? Half a year. Oh yeah, it half, was a year. Yeah, wow. half a year. Half year. I would like to give a shout half out years. to Janelle, Patricia, and Arthur. I would like to give a shout out to Kirsten because she cooks really good. Oh yeah, forgot. <laughs> Michael Owaje. Oh, and give me that shout out. Kirsten, you owe me a cake. I don't know why, but you owe me one. <laughs> wow. All right. You like to okay. say anything? Want me to say the closing now? Yeah. Okay. Visit our website to watch today's broadcast online and live. 
uh, online at liveadvicefirestore.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Live Advice Show. That's all for today's show. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Can't find a word to say